Hey guys, not a really exciting one this one, but I just thought I'd show you this place. It's a tower uh, in Nagoya. It's actually in uh, Higashiyama, and it's a communications tower for um, if there's emergencies. They've got uh, satellite dishes and things, um, relay station sort of thing. So if there's a big earthquake or something and they lose all their usual communication, um, this tower relays signals between all emergency services and the um, government and everybody. So um, sort of for emergencies. But in the meantime, while they're waiting for an emergency to happen, they've got a uh, restaurant up at the top of it. So sort of an interesting place. It's a 134 meter tall tower and it's up on top of a hill. So it's actually pretty high, of course, being a communications tower. So um, yeah, sort of pretty interesting place, I guess, for looking at city lights. If you're into going up towers and looking at city lights, I guess you'd find it sort of interesting. I guess people that um, are used to really big cities and the lights that go with them probably uh, wouldn't be too blown away by this, but uh, coming from Australia, where the whole country's only got 20 million people, um, seeing a city like this, it's got 10 million or whatever it's got, 12 million or whatever it's got, is impressive. <laughs> so uh, it always amazes me how far the horizon goes in these big cities. Tokyo's the same, you know, get up high and have a look at Tokyo and the horizon's, you know, as far as your eye can see sort of thing. So, And the density is what spins me out too, you know, to see density like this. When the lights are on, you can see exactly how dense it really is. You know, there's sort of no wasted space. It's uh, all apartments and houses and shops and stuff happening. Busy. It's busy. But sort of pretty at night. So anyway. Again, not a terribly exciting video, but just another aspect of Japan I thought you might be interested in. More videos coming soon.